Hello YouTubers and Predators fans and welcome to my first ever Predators figure review. Now the figure I am reviewing today is the NECA Unmasked Berserker Predator from the 2010 Predators movie. Now I recently got this from Forbidden Planet for £11.99, that's not including the postage and packaging by the way. And um, this is my first ever Predators figure, and I think it is absolutely brilliant. It's um, not accurate to the Berserker in the movie compared to the masked version in Series 1, or Wave 1, whatever you want to call it. Um, because the Wave 1 version, the masked version, had a sort of tanned brown colour on the body, whereas this version has um, a grey body and I think this figure is um, absolutely fantastic. The detail on it is absolutely stunning. But first of all, I'm going to show you some pictures of the packaging before I go into detail about this fantastic addition to my Predators collection. Well, my first addition to my Predators collection. Now, if you take a look at the front, we can see a big plastic bubble in which the Berserker lies. This figure is not suitable for anyone under three years old because there's um, choking hazards on it. And um, on the bottom of the front, we can see a card with a brilliant picture of the Berserker from the movie. And it also says over 20 points of articulation. Also at the bottom, you've got some names of the people that helped make this figure. And on the back, we can see a picture of all three of the Predators from the Predators movie except from the classic Predator and it also gives you a bit of info about the Berserker Predator and about its history and how it grew up which is quite interesting and then at the bottom you've got three Predators figures including this one I think all three of these figures are the Series 2 Predators figures I'm not 100% sure about that but um, if I am wrong please correct me in the comments section below so that's it for the packaging. Now the Berserker comes with two attachments, both of which are removable, and one of them is the gun-like object or prop which lies on his left shoulder. Now if we take a close look at this we can see that it is really really detailed. Um, it's been painted with bronze and dark brown and it's very accurate. The detail on it is really good and um, as you can see it can go up and down um, but this is best shown when it is actually on the figure itself and the other attachment that the unmasked berserker comes with is his blade which goes in his right arm the sculpt of it is absolutely fine um, but it just doesn't stay in the arm well enough because I've picked the berserker up recently quite a lot when the blade has been in its right arm and it the blade has just constantly fallen out of where it goes into um i guess it is i guess it is good that it's removable so if you don't it on the figure then you can take it out but i'd much rather that it would be glued in because it keeps falling out so many times at the moment that i think one day i'm gonna lose it and i really don't want to do that anyway let's start talking about the Berserker. Now let's start off by looking at Mr. Black's unmasked head. Now the detail on this is stunning. You can see all the scales on his forehead, the teeth, the pincers with the flesh on the inside and the fiery eyes and um, you've got this really interesting brain or skull like thing at the top there. Um, I think they've done an absolutely brilliant job with the head sculpts on this figure. It must have taken them ages to make it and it is really accurate. On the back of his head sculpt we can also see his hairs which are made of a rubbery plastic. Now I did expect them to be made of a rubbery plastic because um, if they weren't they probably wouldn't be that flexible. Um, I really like what they've done with the two colours brown and red. They've sort of gotten the brown to fade to red and I think that's a really nice looking effect. We've also got these metal bands going around the hairs, I believe. And if we take a look a bit further down on the Berserker, we can see his torso armour. Now, this has been painted bronze, which gives it a really nice metallic light look. It also makes it look a bit rusty as well. It is made of a bendy plastic, but I don't think it is 
removable at all. They've done a really good job of painting the scales. There's absolutely loads of them down here and quite a few of them up there. Some of them are actually sculpted and not just painted and I think that's really good. There's also a lot of creases on the skin there. You can see um, some veins and creases on the arms there. And let's take a look at his arm um, gadgets. And on his right arm, we can see this special device. It looks brilliant. It's really highly detailed, as you can see. And like the armor on the torso, it has been painted with a bronze color, which, again, does make it look quite metal, but also quite rusty at the same time. And we can see his open left hand as well, which has some scales on it and some veins down there and on his right arm we can see another device now I'm not sure if this has the same purposes as the one on his left arm but if you know what these two devices are used for please let me know in the comment section below um, again it's painted with bronze and if we take a look at the rest of his left arm we can see more of those black and red scales and we can also see that his left hand is clenched and that also has some more of those black scales and on his waist we can see another piece of armor which has been painted with the same colors as the rest of the armor on the figure and moving down his legs we can see more of the creases on the skin and also more of those nice black and red scales He's also wearing a piece of armour um, just under each knee and this has also been painted with a very dark brown colour. And then when we get to the bottom we can see his very highly detailed pair of boots which um, do look as if they're made from metal but I don't think you'd have boots that are made from metal because um, they'd probably hurt your feet a lot. I'm not 100% sure um, what the props for these boots are made from in the production of the film but if you do know please let me know in the comment section below and um, if we take a closer look at them we can see some really nice detail like the bronze paint and also the three toe claws at the front and there's also little claws at the side so now after looking at the detail I'm going to show you the berserkers articulation now this bit here is where his bronze head shoulder gun thing goes into and it can twist around so you can um, put it facing in all different directions but um, maybe not all different directions actually because um, the head will probably stop it at a certain point but his head is on a ball joint so it can go up and down as well as twist a bit. I think it can do a 360 degree turn but um, I think the armour on my one stops it from going far. His arms are also ball jointed so they can also go outwards at the shoulders like that and then they can go backwards and forwards on the top. He also has swivel joints at his elbows where they can turn 360 degrees and also bend up at the elbows. The hands are also on ball joints at the wrist so they can move up and down and twist 360 degrees. And then in the lower region of his body he has waist articulation where he can turn 360 degrees and um, he can't move up and down from that point though like many other action figures. Um, both legs can turn 360 degrees, um, not only from the top, but also at this joint at the thigh. They can also bend at the knees, and they can also turn from this point as well, 360 degrees, and also his boots can turn. So that is all of Mr. Black's articulation, and as stated on the packaging, he does have over 20 points of articulation. So if you're looking for a Berserker figure that you can put into lots of different poses, here's a good example for you. But there is one problem about the articulation, and that is the stiff joints. Now, fortunately, I don't have many stiff joints on my one, but the joints that are stiff just won't move at all. But despite my little issue about the articulation on this figure, I think the unmasked Berserker figure by NECA is... A amazing action figure. It's my first Predators figure and I'm glad it was this one because the detail is stunning 
um, all from head to toe is absolutely covered with the accurate detail that it needs um, making it um, very realistic and also very accurate to the berserker in the movie articulation is very good as well so you can put them into lots of different poses for animations and figure photography and if I was to give the berserker a rating out of 10 I'll give him a 9 he is a brilliant figure in so many ways but I am a little bit um, disappointed with some of the stiff joints and also the knife accessory on his right arm which falls out really easily. But if it's a highly detailed berserker figure that you want then I'd highly recommend this guy to you. Um, now I'm not sure whether I will be doing any Predators figure reviews anytime soon again um, because I'm doing lots of Dot 2 figure reviews at the moment and also I haven't got any of the other figures yet but I am hoping to get some more of the figures in the near future so I can build up a collection and then do some reviews. Thanks for watching my first Predators figure review. I hope you've all enjoyed it and that's goodbye from me and Mr Black.